today we are going to look for the Westpass method and to work on that we have to have a matrix so for here we have a matrix of the you know containing some cars so for example we have BMW, Audi and Volvo as a three alternative in here so we have three criteria in here so it's one of them is comfort, safe, the other one is safety and fuel consumption so each one have different kind of value type actually so for example we have the values over 100 in here and in here too but not in here so we are gonna work on different kind of values in here at the same time so we also ha have to know the type of this criteria actually so for example comfort is a benefit safety is a benefit but full consumption is a cost so we know all of that so also we need the importance of each criteria so we know the comfort is a bit important actually comfort and safety are important for us but full consumption is not that important so because we have good cars so <laughs> okay so let's continue so at first we have to normalize these values so for the benefits what we are gonna do actually we are gonna I'm gonna do this in here so for the benefits we are gonna take the value and divide the value to the to the actual best of this criteria. So the best of this criteria is 85. So for here again, I'm taking the value of this criteria again, but I'm dividing it to the biggest one, 85. So for here again, I am taking this value and dividing it to the biggest value. 85 so we have three values and for here we are going to do the same too so it's a benefit and again we are taking the value and dividing it to the biggest value so in here taking this and dividing it to the biggest value of the criteria so again taking this value and dividing to the biggest value of the column again i'm doing the same so okay so let's continue and what, what are we going to do for the benefits is actually we are going to take the smallest value and we are going to divide every value to that smallest value like this so we are taking 8.1 dividing to the this value okay 8, 8.1 is the smallest value in here so again, I'm showing it again. I am taking the 8.1 as the smallest value is 8.1. But I'm going to divide it to our own value. So let's continue. 8.1, smallest value of our, uh, our criteria and dividing to the value that I have. So we have this matrix now. So this is a normalized matrix but we need a, a weighted normalized matrix so how we do that actually let's do that so we are gonna multiply every column you know we have every column's weights so we are gonna multiply all of these values with that value and all of these values with that value and all of these values with that value let's do this so i'm coming here for this so what am i gonna do actually i am gonna multiply this value with that value okay so it's an easy thing so i'm taking this value and multiplying it with this value so again coming here i'm taking this value and multiplying it with this value so again so to uh, actually you should see better I should make it easier for you it's C1 is C2 it's C3 in here you can see so it's A1 and it's A2 and it's A3 so for here again it's C1 it's C2 and it's C3 and it's gonna be A1 A2 and A3 in here so actually we are doing the same matrix again and again but we are changing the matrix so for here again what are we going to do? We are going to take this value and multiply it with the weight of this C1's weight. 
So again, we are continuing that we are taking this value and multiplying it with the weight of the second because this is the second criteria for A1. We are going to multiply it with the second criteria's weight. So for here again, taking this. weighted normalized matrix right now so let's continue we have two methods to continue we have to have two values actually so uh, two methods values so we have SAW and it's called simple additive weighting method and we also are gonna have WPM methods is weighted product method so we need these two methods values. So let's continue. One of them, actually, SAW use this matrix, weighted normalized matrix, and WPM, weighted product method, use this matrix, just normalized matrix. So let's continue with that. So what are we gonna do for SAW is, I can actually, actually I can write in here, SAW values of this uh, thing is actually, it's a bit easy it's just we are just calculating we are just taking the sum of each column okay so it's this plus this plus that okay so we have saw values for everything for example for BMW, our SAW value is 0 0.955, okay? So we have to find out the, you know, WPM values, since we are gonna use these values. Okay, weighted product method. So what should we do? Actually, it's a bit different than this one. Uh, actually, we are gonna take every value in here. For example, we are going to multiply this value with the weight of this criteria, but we are going to multiply it with the second one and third one. Now, you are going to see right now. So, we are going to take, for example, is in a parenthesis, it would be better, take this value and take the power of this value as the weight of this value and multiply it with the Actually, the second value, and as the power of the second value is going to be the weight of the second column, second criteria, and we are going to multiply it with actually this value, and the power will be the weight of the third criteria, and this is the weighted product matrix methods actually result. <clears throat> so let's continue. Okay, we have three values actually for WPM and SAW with no problem. Okay, we have to have a lambda value in here. So this value should be, for example, equal to something. Like how can we say it? So in you know it should be between zero and one. You have to attend the value like zero point six for an example so our lambda is 0 0.6 so we to actually our result uh, is calculating with a formula so actually I'm gonna write this formula by just writing the formula in Excel so I'm gonna take the result for this column okay for the BMW I'm gonna take the result so it should be the 
value of lambda okay actually I should do this in a parenthesis I should take the value of lambda and multiply it with the with this value the SAW's value for this so after that I'm gonna actually uh, take the sum of this with uh, opening a parenthesis and taking the 1 minus this value multiplied by that value so this thing is given me a value and this value is the final result of the actually these two uh, two methods mixed so I'm gonna do this for the other columns too we have three values right now so so it actually tells us something so we have a value for BMW we have a value for Audi and we have a value for Volvo so actually the best is the biggest number so BMW is the best for that example but it could change actually if we would change the value of lambda the results would be different it's a good ex example actually so we have for here we have five alternatives and we used all the lambda values from 0 to 1 and for each we have different values for example in this example alternative 5 is always have the biggest value so uh, alternative 2 is coming after that so in a way, you know, alternative 2 and alternative 4, as you can see, is close at the first. If lambda is 0, they are close. But by the time we see that uh, A2, alternative 2 is better than the alternative 4. So by looking at that table, we, I, we can say actually the best one is alternative 5 because we tried 10 values for lambda and we always see the a5 is the best but it would be different I know it's another table but uh, in here it says y but it's lambda and these are the values so just look at here we again we have five alternatives for that table but as you can see in here alternative 3 is actually in some times you know is bigger than the alternative 2 the red one so until here it's better than alternative uh, 2 actually the green is better than the red but the red is getting better than the green green so uh, you are gonna choose actually you can say you know it's actually one two three four five six nearly six times the green was better but afterwards uh, for like five times the red one actually four times the red one was better but it was too actually better than the green one so you can is actually using more than one lambda is actually mixing some uh, some things in your mind actually actually maybe the best method to find the best value by using more than one lambda value can be actually taking the area of each alternative so the biggest area means the best alternative but for that example for the VASPAS you have a lambda value and you solved it and the biggest one was the best and that's all so for this example the BMW is the best so see you later